guys, Malcolm here, and first of all, I just want to quickly say thank you so much for the support on TikTok and the last couple videos on Poppy Playtime. They did absolutely amazing, so thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate that. Today, since Poppy Playtime is still going around, the craze is still going around, and I'm really, really loving it. Like, when I say love it, like, I am enjoying it so much to the point where today, we are going to be looking at the Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 VHS tapes because there's a few things I want to go through, a few things I want to discuss, and a few things that are very creepy. So, I want to dive into this again. And I want to look at the tapes because I did miss a lot. I couldn't find the tapes Obviously, I found the tape players, but I didn't actually find the tapes So we're gonna look at these and get strapped in drop a like on the video and uh, yeah, let's go So um, this first tape actually was the first one we found and I did find this in my playthrough So this was actually Play the Junko Elliot Ludwig one. So this one was so this one was really cool, right? Because yeah Also, I don't know why they blanked his face in this so we get some backstory here on Ludwig I'm not gonna fully watch this one because I've already actually watched it from my playthrough So if you do want to go check that out go check that out on my first part of Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, I want to talk about some things because there was a few things that really stood out to me here because Ludwig's dead and then I think after Ludwig died, obviously the scientist that he, you know, he wanted to take over his experiments, his everything that was going on. He let them do it. He let them take over. And this is where it gets all creepy. So I actually noticed as well in the color coordination game, there's actually a certain thing with the letters. So if you see the orange, orange, right? So I was always thinking when we were playing that, the orange sounds kind of strange. The orange sounds kind of weird, right? Because it's like orange. I don't really know. It has a weird saying to it. Either way, people were saying it sounds like organs. So it literally sounds like organs. So like, why would there be organs to do with a kid's game, right? That's weird. If you... And then I think yellow as well had something weird to do with it because instead of more of a game, these felt more like tests. People were saying these felt more like tests. So basically... The scientist Ludwig left behind, they were here, I guess, to test the children and they wanted to make the children into toys, which is really creepy and weird, right? So they got the children and they used, they were seeing who was the most fittest in the games in, you know, the Huggy Wuggy ones. So basically survival of the fittest to see what kids were the strongest, what kids were the least likely to make it. So therefore what they done with those is they got those kids and tried to make them into toys which is completely what Ludwig did not want because me and my friend were actually talking about this yesterday and that's why I wanted to like delve more into it because I was really really intrigued. I don't know Poppy Playtime has that feel where the game is just so intriguing and so creepy. So I don't really care about this first tape. The bright green tape that's just on the hand so we don't care about that. This is one of the tapes I have not seen. So this was actually in Bronto's. Oh I couldn't find the tape so actually Oh, it was right here. Are you serious? <laughs> well, yeah, I couldn't find the tape the whole way through. And I'm guessing this is where it was. So then we come here, we place it inside the tape player, and now we get... What are we going to get? Well, it finally happened. After years of being ignored, the company actually heard all my complaints. Yep, they listened to them very carefully. I guess my words must have really inspired them to take action. Because the next day I got demoted down here to the freaking island of misfit toys! <laughs> Why do I talk to myself? What the hell? Okay, so that guy was... Is this one of the toys? Okay, what toy is this now? Have we seen this toy? I'm not too sure, but he's sitting on the toilet for some unknown reason. He's talking about them demoting him. So did they have like levels for the toys and then I'm taking it for what I guess. I guess mommy was like one of the top ones then I'm guessing after she died though now because you know we killed her off on gold. Seen the Jacksepticeye tape. I have not seen this tape here. So this Jimmy, one's an IRL one. So we've got Jimmy Raw. How do you do it? You know, it's not what you'd expect. It's the little things most people don't even think about. Like take names for example. Express people haven't realized this. You take the E sound, slap it on the end of a name, boom, you're making bank. Huggy, mommy. Even Elliot knew this way back with Poppy. I guess I kind oh, blue. of. Blue is huge. I'm telling you. What's your favorite color? Blue? I bet it's blue, right? It's blue? It's green. <laughs> okay, well, you're a special case. Most people would say blue. But seriously, marketing is not as easy as you think. I make it look easy. If there's anything Playtime Co. should be known for, it's not toys marketing okay okay so that's not too important he's just talking about you know how they market the toys with every with you know mommy huggy by adding the little e's at the end and the color coordinations and the color schemes okay now this is another tape we didn't see as well this is the red tape we reported announcement to address the many complaints regarding an alleged very very big spider 
crawling around in the facility. Mm -hmm. So they're talking about the Playtime it. Playtime Corporation wants me to remind you all that spiders that big Don't do exist. not exist. And that if they mm -hmm. did, quote, we would already be dead anyways, end quote. Regardless, you can all rest assured the company is sending some specialists down here to have a look around and relieve the constant whining. Complaining seems to be everyone's primary contribution to this company. It's just a spider. You are all safe. Please, please carry on with your jobs. So they were talking about, you know, there's no actual big s spiders there and everything. So I think that's when they first created Mommy. They were just talking about how, you know, she's massive. Maybe the workers kind of felt like threatened by her, you know, and feared by her because, you know, her massive size and, you know, her just long arms. She just, like, she's meant to look friendly, but to kids, she probably looks very friendly. To adults, she probably looks very threatening. And then we also have this tape. This was the last tape, and this is the most crucial one to this chapter, I would say. Log code 08502 in relation... Experiment 1006, the prototype. This A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door, despite the other specialist still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. So this actually gives us so much more about the big creature with the hand that grabbed mommy at the end. So basically as well, people were saying this is a spider. I actually don't think it's a spider. I think it's maybe gonna look like a spider in its full form, but there's a bone here. And this looks like a massive human's bone. People were also getting like Coraline vibes with the big like hand, like the creature like that. Like, um, I think it's the Beldum. Me and my friend were talking about this and he was like, it looked like a spider. And then I pointed it out and I was like, no, because the bone is so big here. Why would a spider have that? And also there's a few pictures where people went behind the game to see some things, you know, to get more in depth of what we can't see. And you can actually see the hand is huge and it's faced like an arm. It's not, it's not really faced like a spider. At the end of the chapter, you can also see that we're ne our next uh, location is Playcare, but people broke the game and tried to go through and tried to go see, you know, what the next Playcare looks like, but you know, you can't actually see it. And as well, we were talking about Kissy Missy, right? I've got a theory on Kissy Missy. I don't think Kissy Missy is good. Now, if I'm right about this, it'll be crazy, but everyone's saying, you know, Kissy Missy is lovely. Oh, she's so cute and everything. But if you go behind her as she's coming in, before she comes in as a shadow, you can actually see her teeth, her mouth, and you can see what Huggy looks like, basically. Before Huggy, you know, because Huggy had his cute form and then he had his evil form. So that does not mean Kissy does not have that as well. So Kissy, on the other form, looks scary as hell. And you can see it before she walks in. Obviously, the player can't actually see it when you're playing the game. But if you go behind and, you know, go inside the game files and stuff, you can actually see Kissy Missy changing her look as she walks towards us or just before she does. She's like T-posing and like she's got her mouth out. I don't know if that's meant to be by the game developers, but I just have a feeling Kissy's bad. You know, I, you know, I don't even know if I can trust anyone at this point after, you know, Poppy betrayed us. There was so much in this chapter that was taken and as well, Huggy Wuggy was still alive because I noticed this in my playthrough as well. If you look at one of the walls near the Bunzo part where we collect the little Bunzo toy, there's actually Huggy Wuggy footprint or not footprints, but him trying to climb back up from the deep shallows he like fell down as well. Huggy's like, these toys can take a lot. Huggy is not like a normal human. Huggy is not human. So obviously he can... 
you know, try build himself back up and get back up. Or maybe he has like a regenerate time or just anything like that. But he is a big dude and he is strong. So I wouldn't be surprised because Huggy, you can see the feathers of Huggy's skin and there's like blood on them and stuff. And it looks like he's climbed up to the top. Cause like who else would that actually be realistically? Honestly, there was a lot to go through here and there probably is more that I've just not talked about. But this creature, Mommy actually says something. She says he is gonna, I think he, she says something like, he is gonna use me before she dies and i also heard it as well but i you know i didn't think of anything of it at the time he is now gonna have mommy attached to him this big creature this big spider anyways guys if you guys did enjoy this video please drop a like and turn notification bell to get my next upload as soon as i upload and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in my next one i'm out